डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी वॉम गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम बैक इन अवर बायोलॉजी सेशन सो इन अवर बायोलॉजी सेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अवर लेसन एंड द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज व्हाट रीचिंग द एज ऑफ एडोलसेंस ओके सो इन दिस सेम लेसन वी हैव डिस्कस सम पॉइंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट एडोलसेंस व्हाट इज मीन बाय प्यूबर्टी व्हिच आर द प्राइमरी सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टर आल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट व्हिच आर द सेकेंडरी सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टर्स and also we have discuss about the reproductive phase in male and female so now today we will move for the next point from the same lesson that is today we will discuss about the determination of sex of a baby okay so today in this session we are going to discuss that how exactly the sex of the baby is get determined in the womb of the mother or how there is a female child or the how there will be the male baby is get determined in the womb of the mother okay so let's see actually when there is a fertilized egg okay so whenever there is a fertilized egg is there or the zygote is there so that fertilized egg and the zygote can contain the information in it okay so already about the sex the information is present in the fertilized egg or the zygote okay and this information is get contained by the chromosome so okay, this information is get contained or who is having that information chromosomes are having that information and where are the chromosomes are present chromosomes are present inside the nucleus of each cell that we have seen in our lesson that is cell structures and functions okay so what we have discussed now that fertilized egg or the zygote contain all the information about the sex of a baby and who carries that information that chromosomes carries that information that chromosomes are present inside the nucleus okay so if we we'll talk about the chromosomes okay so in the human body uh, either it is male or female in both the male and the female there are the total number of 46 chromosomes are present okay there are the 46 chromosomes are present so in that 46 Talk about in a pair, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes are present. And chromosomes are not in a single form; they are always being presented in a pair. Okay? So if we talk the total number, then it becomes 46. But they are always in a pair. So how many pairs of the chromosomes are present in a human body? That are 23 pairs of the chromosomes are present in a human body. Okay? Among these 23 pairs of the chromosome, the 22 pairs are known as autosomes okay this 22 pairs of chromosomes or we can say that what 44 number of chromosomes are known as autosomes okay are known as what autosomes and the last one that is the 23rd pair of chromosomes it helps to develop or it controls the sexual growth okay and that is the reason that two pair that chromosomes are called as what sex chromosome okay that 23rd pair of the chromosomes is called as what sex chromosome why because that two chromosomes helps to control the sexual growth it controls the sexual development and that's the reason that chromosomes are called as what sex chromosomes okay so what is the important thing you have to keep in mind there are totally 46 chromosomes are there among that 46 chromosomes there are the two chromosomes are there which are known as what sex chromosomes okay which are known as sex chromosome and this sex chromosome plays a vital role in the determination of sex of a baby okay so let discuss after now we have discuss about the chromosomes so the gamete the male and the female gamete contain the single chromosome okay it contains the single chromosome so if we talk about the egg okay which is what female sex gamete then that female sex gamete always contain the x chromosome okay or we can say that in the females the there are the two sex chromosomes which are only x okay which are only x two sex chromosomes okay which are the two sex chromosomes are present that is only x but if we talk about the males okay then they are having the two sex chromosomes that are which two sex chromosomes they are having x and 
y they are having x and y in male okay they are having the x and y chromosomes in a male so what is the important thing in a female there are the two sex chromosome which are the two sex chromosome x and x but in a male there are the two sex chromosomes are present and which are the two sex chromosome that is x and y okay that is what x and y so the female gamete that is what a that female gamete always contain the one chromosome okay so it contain the one chromosome but in the female already there is what x x chromosome so the a always contains the x chromosome okay next one but here we have discussed that the males are having the two sex chromosome which are that x or y and what is the male gamete that is nothing but what sperm so here what we can say that the sperms will be of the two type which are the two type one type of the sperm that carries what x chromosome while the another type of the sperm which carries what y chromosome okay why is it so because the males are having the two type of the chromosomes that are what x and y okay so that gamete female gamete always contain the x chromosome okay so if these the female gamete which contain the x chromosome get fused with the sperm which carries the x chromosome okay which carries the x chromosome then which will be the two chromosomes will form x and x okay so if the fertilized egg get yeah, forms or if the two x x chromosome comes into the fertilized egg then that fertilized egg get converted into a baby child okay into a baby girl okay then that offspring will be what become a baby girl okay so if the chromosomes are of what x x it from the as we know from the female always it comes what x chromosome but if from the father the sperm which contain the x chromosome it comes and it get fertilized then it forms with child female child and the baby becomes a girl baby okay next one if the fertilized egg which always carry x chromosome get fused with the sperm which carries what y chromosome which carries y chromosome then which are the two chromosomes will form that is what x and y okay so if these x and y chromosomes will comes with each other and it get fused and then it becomes the baby boy then the offspring will get what that uh, offspring will be what baby boy or the sex of that offspring will be what male okay so this is all about what determination of a baby or uh, determination of sex of baby okay so the female always carries the two sex chromosomes which are what x x and the male always carries the two sex chromosomes that is what x and y but the gametes okay gametes means what x and the sperm they are always carries only the single chromosome why is it so because the one chromosome will go because each say okay in the chromosomes are always pre pre present in a pair okay so they will form the pair into the fertilized egg the one chromosome will go from the mother and the one chromosome will go from the father okay and the mother always carries the only x chromosome while the fathers are having the two types of the chromosomes that are what x and y if the x x forms will get comes in a fertilized egg get fused then the child becomes girl and if the x chromosome get fertilized with the y chromosome then the baby becomes what baby boy so in this way the determination of the baby the determination of sex of the baby takes place so from this we can come to know that what the determination of the baby or the sex of the baby is doesn't depends on the female it is depends on the father or it is depends on the male so which type of the sperms is get fused with the egg okay because the males are having the two types of the sperm that are what x and y so from this it is very clear that the chromosomes of a father
father determines the sex of a baby of a sex of a baby or we can say that they determine the sex of a unborn baby so the belief in our society is that the mother is responsible for the sex of the baby is totally wrong and to blame her for the giving the birth to the girl it is totally wrong okay so this is what the determination of sex of a baby till now we have discussed about the different hormones in our body which helps for the secondary sexual character but other than that there are the certain hormones which are secreted in our body so let discuss about that so let discuss about hormones other than sex hormones okay so up till now we have discussed about the hormones hormones means what these are the certain chemical substances which bring the certain changes in our body okay so up till now we have discussed about the sex hormone who secrete the sex hormone so as we know we are as we know we have discussed that the pituitary gland secrete the hormones and that hormone stimulates the testes and ovaries to secrete the sex hormone okay to secrete the sex hormones okay so as we know like that we have discussed about the pituitary gland is there which is the endocrine gland and which is attached to the brain okay so we can say that the pituitary gland secretes certain hormones and because of that hormones certain glands get stimulates and their glands also started to release or to secrete the certain hormones okay so other than the pituitary gland testes and the ovaries there are other certain endocrine glands are present in our body which secrete the certain types of the secretions or which secrete the certain types of the hormones so let discuss which are that glands first one we will discuss about the thyroid gland so this thyroid gland is present in the neck region and this thyroid gland produces the hormone thyroxine okay so this hormone is thyroxine hormone is get secreted by the thyroid gland and to produce this thyroxine uh, hormone in our body our body requires the iodine okay and if there is a deficiency of the iodine in our diet then there is a uh, not proper for pro amount of the thyroxine started to get produced in our body and if there is a not proper amount of the thyroxine is present in our body then what will happen this thyroid will gland get engulf or it get uh, enlarged in the side and that this is your calling as what goiter okay so in the image also you can see the goiter how is it exactly so this is about what thyroid gland is secreted thyroxine hormone and if this hormone is not proper in the quantity or the lacking of this thyroxine uh, hormone causes we to see that is what goiter we can say next one we discuss discuss about the pancreas so this pancreas secrete the hormone that is what insulin which helps to digest the blood sugar or blood glucose and if there is a deficiency of the insulin in the someone's body then in that person will get suffer from the disease that is what diabetes because the sugar will not get digest and the blood sugar will get increase and that person will get suffer from the diabetes other than these two glands there is one more gland that is what adrenal gland and this adrenal gland also secreted one of the hormone that is what adrenaline okay so this is the one type of the hormone which is secreted by the adrenal gland it is what adrenaline and what is the work of this adrenaline hormone this adrenaline hormone helps to adjust to stress okay helps to adjust to stress when someone is very angry worried or embarrassed okay so in this way to uh, adjust with the different stress or to adjust with the different situation this adrenaline hormone helps and this adrenaline hormone get see or uh, it get secreted by the adrenal gland okay so along with three glands one more uh, sex or one more growth hormones are secreted by the pituitary gland and the sex hormone helps for the normal growth of a living organisms okay so these are the certain hormones okay these are the certain hormones which are secreted by the different endocrine glands okay so again you can see these different endocrine gland you can see the pituitary gland which connected to the brain then you can see the thyroid gland after that you can see the pancreas then there are the testes and the ovaries okay so all these are the endocrine glands which secrete certain hormones okay so this is all about today today we will stop here 
will meet in the next video with the next point and for today thank you